Hey, thanks for visiting. Today I'll be doing a jigsaw puzzle time lapse from one of my favorite puzzle brands, Gallison. I picked this rainbow button puzzle. First I'll be doing an unboxing, then we'll be doing a time lapse, and after that I'll give you my take on it. I put them all in chapters below, so feel free to skip ahead. But if you want to hang out, let's go straight to unboxing. Okay guys, let's get this thing open. First of all, you'll notice it's not wrapped in plastic. This is how I got it. Um, it's kind of been my experience with Gaussian puzzles. They have like a really smooth box that feels good, but no plastic. So let's see what happens when I get the lid off. Ta-da! In a bag. Pieces are nice and large and ah, uh, a map. Well, the picture is not actually any bigger than the picture in the box but at least like keeping this by my side is more manageable than dealing with a larger box, so I'll take it. But um, I'm excited to see the map. All right, next let's get the bag open and get a feel for the pieces. Got it. Doesn't look like there's a lot of sawdust on these guys, which is nice. The last puzzle I did had a ton of sawdust and really messed up my map. All right, let's see. Nice. Okay, let's see what I'm seeing. Get to those in a little bit. So, so far, two in, two out across the board. Two in, two out. Yeah, it looks like they're all two in, two outs, which will be interesting. I mean, like, fitting the pieces will be a bit of a subtlety. It kind of looks, too, that, like, you've got, like, thick outs and uh, thin outs. So you can see kind of how... Um, the pieces work that way. Like we've got the, these big ones here and these little ones here. So that'll be kind of interesting. Hopefully make it a little bit easier to do. Anyway, now for the slip test. As if you've watched my channel before, you know I like to organize and reorganize. So moving, being able to move my puzzle pieces across the mat is important. So that's good. Makes a little noise, but works. Um, one last thing I noticed about these pieces is you will notice they've got a white back. It's pretty shiny um, and smooth, not really your typical like rough cardboard feel. So, um, but everything looks pretty clean. Anyway, I'm excited to get this guy started. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. I sure enjoyed doing this puzzle. But hey, first, would you do me a favor? Please like, comment, or subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. So this rainbow button puzzle was amazing. And one of my favorite things about it was I finished it in only two days, which is pretty quick for um, me and 500 piece puzzles. Some of the things that made it pretty easy were its ability to sort by color. You know, you had the pinks all the way over here, the blues all the way over here, no mixing. The other cool thing about this puzzle is Gallison makes it really easy to see which pieces um, go vertical versus horizontal. I'll show you. So all the vertical pieces usually tend to be pretty skinny. So they've got like tinier nubs and um, they're like pretty thin up, up and down. And the horizontal pieces kind of have the bigger nubs and are like fatter. So and every piece was two in and two out. So between being able to to sort it by colors and then also know when I was looking at a particular color which ones went up and which ones went sideways uh, made this puzzle a breeze and it was super fun.
So I hope to catch you guys next time. I'm about to start a new puzzle. See you then.